Uh, my name is Caleb, 22 years old. I was born and raised in Saskatchewan. Um, I grew up uh, two younger brothers, raised by a single father. Um, broken home, chaotic home. So chaos was, was uh, chaos was familiar to me. And uh, mom, was, mom wasn't able to be around. So I think that that's just contributed to the, to the fact that I was, I was like an unloving person. Like um, lots of, I don't know, problems within me that I, that I didn't understand. Grew up always knowing who Jesus was, I guess. Dad introduced us to Jesus uh, at a young age. And uh, for the first little bit of my life, I was going to church. Um, so we had that, always had that instilled in us. and. And so I knew who he was from, from a young age, but I, I wouldn't say I, I walk with him. I, I wouldn't say that I was a follower. I know who he was. I, I believed I believed in who he was, but uh, I, just, I just did what the other kids did in school. Um, so that's growing up, uh, pretty, pretty normal life in a public school. Um, you know, get to that age where you start I'm just doing what the other kids did, you know, drinking and partying. And those sports were always a big part of my life. I had a good outlet and stuff like that. I, I still, um, I still struggled dealing with like suicidal thoughts and stuff like that around grade 12. And, and, uh, which, you know, it, it helped me back from going, from going to, to pursue my dream and play, uh, college basketball. And, uh, I guess when I graduated, uh, life started to hit me like like real life. Just I started having like uh, struggling mentally and stuff. Uh, a lot of my trauma started coming out. Um, I was lacking love, and uh, I showed very little love. You know when, uh, when my trauma actually you know, started to come out. You know I thought I was good in high school. I had the outlets and stuff, and and when that was taken away from me, like I didn't know where to go. I started to just get into trouble. Um, I was a very angry dude, very, very confused. Um, I was incarcerated for a two year stretch after high school. I was probably struggling with the law in and out of jail. Um, the last time I was incarcerated, I actually, I was just drawn, drawn to this book. Um, it happened to be the Bible. Um, I don't know what was calling me to that book, but I, I picked it up and I started reading it. And someone came up to me in my bunk and uh, said, if, he just saw me like I was just this kid, you know, incarcerated for, you know, the fourth time. And I, I didn't know what was going on in my life and what I, what I was doing wrong. And I was reading it and this guy comes up to me in my bunk and, and he sees me, he asked me, what, what am I reading? I, I told him it was the Bible and, and he told me, keep reading this book. Like if you don't put it down after you leave this place, like you won't come back. And so that's, and I, I didn't put it down. I, I didn't put the book down and uh, I started going to church. Um, I was given opportunities, uh, places to stay. My uncle, he actually, actually, uh, felt God was, God was calling him to give me an opportunity, a, a safe environment just to get my feet again. And, uh, so that's, that's where I was staying. I was going to church. Um, and I actually felt this calling. Um, I felt God talking to me and he said, he said to pick up, to write music. And so I picked up the mic and the church, that's with the church. I, I started rapping for the church. And now I, I do music. Um, that's music for him is, is just like, it's my passion, it's my love. I never, I never, I never did music before that. Um, yeah, I just submitted myself to the fact um, that God is who he is. Um, Jesus is who he is. You know, there's people that don't wanna believe and there's people that, you know, deny it. Um, so I just chose to submit my life to him. And ever since I, I submitted to the fact that God is who he is, things have just been working out for me. Like they've been changing, like, like drastic changes. Like, um, I have peace. Like, like I'm not, I'm not angry anymore. Like I was, I was struggling with, uh, my, my drug addictions and, and smoking marijuana and stuff and very heavy into that. There's filling a the void and I don't, I don't do that anymore. Like, um, I just feel more complete and more whole. And as I, as I allow him to just, just enter my life, like, like be a part of it. Like I've been walking him with him ever since, um, that, that guy walked up to me and said, don't put this book down. And, uh, 
stuff just been working out and I'm just uh, thankful to be here. You know, he's, he keeps blessing me. And uh, even though I don't walk, walk how I should, sometimes he's, he's faithful and he, and he remains faithful.